Hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following me since 2016, I started a series called Sketch and Wander. I go around urban sketching and I wander around the city. So I've been meaning to bring this series back, but with a more mindfulness approach. As I'm wandering with my sketchbook, I want to share my experience with you all as I'm experiencing it. Along with that, I'll also share my urban sketch process. So today we are at Balboa Park, and this is actually my third time sketching here. The first time was at the Japanese Friendship Garden, which I'll have in the cards for you. And I also sketched at one of the tables as I was waiting for my friend. But today I'm just gonna wander around Balboa Park. There's so much to see, so many beautiful flowers and plants, and the architecture is really nice. And there's a lot of tourists here. <laughs> So I'll try and sketch people as well. I didn't bring that much with me. I didn't want to bring my paints today because that tends to take me a lot longer to complete. So I just have my sketchbook. I might butcher this, but it's the Leustrom, Leustrom 1917 sketchbook. Kind of matches my nails, wasn't intentional. Um, and then I have my Micron pens in 005. 01 and 05. My bulldog clip, just so I can hold down the pages like that as I'm drawing. I really wanted to wear these overalls because I don't have to worry about rummaging through my tote bag. Because if you're a tote bag user, you guys know it's hard to find things in there. And, ta-da! All right, now I'm ready. Let's go. Going to the rose garden. It's so pretty. There's roses here and cacti there. Wow. You can probably sit there. But first of all, <laughs> my handy dandy sketchbook. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is my 005. So I've chosen this one. Usually when I sketch, I like using the continuous line. I don't really lift my pencil. I'll like get the overall shape of it down and then I fix it afterwards. I find that using this technique is a lot faster because when I first started doing Urban Sketch, I was constantly like erasing and like fixing things and it took me a lot longer to like finish an Urban Sketch. But now that I do this technique, it's a lot faster. Right now in San Diego, it's like 80 degrees. So kind of burning, but there's just a nice breeze. So for shadows, I like to do cross hatching. I'm not gonna draw the whole stem, but I think this is good enough. Let me get my other Eyeliner. I'm almost done. I think that's good. I don't want to get too detailed with it, but yeah. 
Rose. Roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> Maybe I'll just draw like the edge of the science center with the tree. A little composition right there. Ooh, I like that breeze right now. I usually don't measure, so lay on my hand, do the talking. me I hate drawing repetitive shapes so drawing this roof is kind of annoying for me <laughs> Another thing I don't really like drawing are trees because when I draw them, I get so fixated on like every leaf and I feel like I have to draw every leaf, but I know it's gonna take me a while. So I just get the overall shape of it. I really hope the botanical garden is open. Every time I come here, it's always closed for some reason. Okay, I'm not gonna get that whole thing. be good. Wow. All right. Next location. Let's see how many pages I fill up today. Because I want to go down this whole area and then to the Oregon Pavilion. Do you have like a goal? No, I'm just like trying to fill up as many pages. <laughs> There's a whole bunch. <laughs> There's one right there that's just chilling. Don't move. <laughs> Looks silly. Let me just do this so it doesn't look weird. So we went on a, a day when they're renovating the botanical garden. So sad. They're so cute.
There you go. Where's your feet? <laughs> Untitled Goose Game. Just drawing across. This one's better. This one looks kind of weird. <laughs> but I just want to put it in my pocket and bring it home. It's called Charlie. Ooh. I saw Goose King. Goose. <laughs> my favorite thing about uh, ducks and geese is when they dunk their heads in the water. Right there! And they show their butt. <laughs> By the old house, remember? Mm -hmm. There were so many geese there, and I always used to be so scared of them because really? they honk so loud. Oh! And then if you like fed them, they would start like chasing after you. <laughs> Being with like animals and people, it's always hard because they're constantly moving. <laughs> that one looks angry. <laughs> this caution tape is blocking his feet. If I could be an animal in another life, I would be a goose. No How about more. you? Koala. I'm done with being a koala. I've been sleeping too much. <laughs> no longer lazy. I want to be a cute duck. And like dunking my head in the water. Is that how they clean themselves or are they just itchy? <laughs> I don't know what the juice keeps doing. Uh, I think that's okay for now. I mean, I was gonna put one here. Should I do one more here? <laughs> Not now. Yeah. So, there's the goose, the geese, everyone's feeding it. It feels a lot cooler over here. So we made it to this table with an umbrella, which is very necessary right now. It's so hot outside. You know what? The last time I actually sat at the same table and I was waiting for my friend. Really? Yeah, I was sitting here. Whoa, deja vu. <laughs> yeah, so I think this spot, I'm gonna draw some people. I'm not gonna draw people walking by because it's gonna be hard to get all the details down, but probably people sitting down. So this is a really great spot. So far, I filled up four pages. Spread number one <laughs> and spread number two. So this next spread is gonna be all for people watching. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Usually when I draw people, I tend to get really anxious and I'll like take pictures on my iPhone so I can reference from that. But I think I'm going to try and practice just drawing from what I see. Even though it's going to be hard because people are constantly moving their heads or moving their hands, I got to like improvise. So yeah, let's get started. I'm 
and at least with this one I don't see a space so it's not going to be too hard. This guy's eating an apple. See drawing people when they're not facing me, it's a lot easier. <laughs> construction going on today. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for not moving. Look at this place. Socks. He has not moved. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Wish I can get that little boy on the skateboard, but. <laughs> Gotta improvise with this one. Homegirls moving a lot. <laughs> Can I use your bag as my... He's eating a sandwich. I messed up, but it's fine. Awesome is to, ooh, I like her outfit. <laughs> well. She's going to the museum. Okay, maybe one here. Let's draw this guy. The dreads. People watching. Wow. 
One, two, three, four, five, six pages. So this is where I sketched last time. I actually sketched here when the cherry blossoms were in bloom. There is a mission, I forget how much it is. Oh, there's people on the bridge. That's all you can see. <laughs> you can't even see the rocks in the pond. All right, so we made it to the Oregon Pavilion. I thought about sketching over here, but we don't have time. We have other places to go. So we're gonna end it here. I am really satisfied with what I got down. I have like six pages of drawings, which is a world record. Yay me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to do more of these in the future. I hope you learn a thing or two about Urban Sketch and that you enjoy the scenery. If you aren't from San Diego, this is definitely a great place to come for photos. People come here to take photos for like their weddings, their birthdays, anniversaries and whatnot. So it's a really great place to take pictures, great place to sketch. They have a lot of awesome museums. I actually wanna to go to the art museum sometime this year. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Let me know when you're recording. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Give me a cue, like. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh at me. I'm laughing at myself. So today we are about. <laughs> this is literally me every time I film. Along with that, I'll also share my urban sketch process. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, the ladybug! Hi! Are you kidding me? Let's go! Come on, we're going to the carousel! Come on! Let's go to the Or is it Ferris wheel? <laughs> I swear, the whole time we were looking for parking there, and I was like, wait, what is it called again? I didn't want to sound stupid, so I was like, wait. I kept looking at it, I was like, oh wait, carousel. Next subject. Next victim. <laughs> okay. Auntie, you want me to take you a picture? <laughs> Come on, let me replenish my lipstick. <laughs> Are they doing a TikTok? <laughs>